Do you love coffee? Do you want to learn how to cut metal? Do you want to learn how to weld? Do you enjoy gratuitous ass shots? Do you love America? <laughs> Well, this might just be the show for you. All right, guys, today's pretty exciting. So what we got here is the AccuSump from Canton Racing. Uh, oil filter block off plate. Basically what this is, it's gonna remove that uh, bypass in the small block because a lot of the, the stock ones have this little spring. So if there's a blockage, it sends it without going through the filter. We don't want that. Uh, it's gonna make sure we all filter little uh, check valve we're gonna run a manually operated valve because it's just easier don't have to mess with the wiring of it it'll just be simple we're gonna run an oil cooler we're doing a new setup we're gonna basically tap all this in and I'll show you basically what we're gonna do but we're gonna run a line through there we have a little sandwich adapter and we're gonna plug all that stuff up route it whatever I'll show you where we're going. Okay guys, I'm going to try to explain basically what the plan is. That's a basic diagram that comes from AccuSum. This is basically my parts laid out. Now, I'm not including the hose because I haven't cut and decided the length yet, but here's the problem I'm having. I don't have one hose end, so not able to finish it just yet, but I'm going to order one and we'll get that fixed, it's whatever. So basically here's the idea. Okay, so up there, pretend there's an axis sump. Line goes into a T, okay? And then what you're gonna have is, one line is gonna go out and go back to biscuit, right? Okay, then you're gonna have another line that runs out. That's gonna go through for your uh, oil cooler. It's gonna run through the oil cooler, go through the return and then go through a, a check valve. A check valve is just, it's needed, it's basically what it does is it prevents it from backflowing whenever the sump's open, so you need that. And after it flows through there, it'll just flow back the way that it's supposed to, and it's good. Okay, so the main two differences here between these two oil filter adapters, this one has a spring in it. What that does is basically it allows oil to bypass the filter if it's clogged. Um, which is fine for you know stock cars and whatever but like for what we're doing we're gonna have pressurized oil anyway so we're gonna use this block off plate that eliminates that basically it's just a straight through design the oil can go right through it's real easy it's real simple and what you could do is put a pipe plug in the spring in this one just drill it tap it put a pipe plug but I figured for 30 bucks why not all right so first things first put these in what I'm using again is I'm just using some uh, this uh, Permatex thread sealant. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. I like this better than the tape. It's less likely to get all over the, this. It's less likely to mess up. You can still use tape, but just put it on nice and light. Nothing crazy. Just make sure you get it in all the threads. This will push out as you thread it in. Just don't get any inside inside this actual spot right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just thread it in there. Nice and easy. Be careful not to accidentally like cross thread it. I always like to go backwards so I feel it click and then go forwards. It makes it a lot easier to get in there. And then now I'm just gonna take this. Pretty tight. Spin it in. Simple. Okay. Ah, we're good. It's in there. Got all the threads in, should be good. 
Now we'll move on to the next. Okay, so my idea is we're going to mount it right here. So that way I can have my hand right on the manual valve if I need to to open it. It's still fairly close. It's not. We're just going to run it through one of those holes, run the line through there. But it'll set like right there so it's out of the way. I can still see it, do what I need to do, but it'll be, it'll be good. The big thing is just getting it mounted to that pump is going to be kind of a challenge. I think I'm going to use rivets. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. All right guys, so here's what we're doing. So basically, I'm gonna drill these mounts out. We're gonna put rivets in here. So I'm mounting one here and then one over here. Uh, I'm just gonna make the marks and drill out the holes properly. So let's see if I can. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Tighten those puppies up. And we're golden, look at that. Perfect. Boom. So that's the install of that. So yeah. Alright, so next we're gonna move on to doing the oil feed lines. Alright. Alright guys. Wish me luck. So, the whole reason that I use tape is to keep those little things where we want them. So otherwise you get these little metal things all up in your hands, that's not good. All right guys, next step we're gonna put these hose ends in. So you're gonna unscrew part of it. And now what we're gonna do is take this tape off after we cut it. it should be nice and straight. See that? Nice and clean. That's why I like using cutoff tools. The cutoff wheel works really well. It's not super frayed. I don't have to worry about getting all cut up. Like a lot of times that happens. Okay, so first take this end. We're going to screw it on backwards. So counterclockwise. So you can work it on there. Might be a little tricky. But this is where having that stuff on good. Okay. There we go. Well, that went on a lot easier than I thought. Look at that. All right. Let's see if you can see it. You push it right up to that lip. There's a little lip in there. That's where we want it. Next, we're gonna take this, put some oil on it. Just a dab will do you. Get it all up in there. Okay. And then slide it in there and try to force it in. This can get kind of tricky. Once you get it in, it's not too bad. Just make sure you go in straight. Don't gack the threads up. Because if you mess it up, you're going to be out like 20 bucks. These things are not cheap. Okay, got it started. I'm just gonna take our wrench. Big Bertha. Get her opened up to the right height. Now, if you don't want to damage it, use a rag or something in between. Just because it's where this is gonna be, I'm gonna do this. You don't have to, but if you spend enough on this stuff, may as well. Plus this is going to be showing, so I want to make it kind of nice. Alright. Alright guys, so finally got this in last night. It was pretty late, battery died, but basically what we got, this is the line coming from the Aki Sump. It's coming to this T. Okay? And then it goes in through here and goes into the little uh, biscuit under there. This is a little check valve. It's coming from the uh, return from the oil cooler it's basically keeps this pressure and doesn't let it back flow back into that which is what you want this is kind of cool so in here the this is actually the stock bracket for the stock oil cooler on the arc 7 this thing fit perfectly like I had to drill out these holes a little bit and I just got a bolt that fit I'm gonna put a jam nut on there to keep it from backing out but it's it's on there. 